It's back to class for many students across the bluegrass while coronavirus cases are surging again. Fox 56's Georgia MacArthur talked to Jessamine County Superintendent about how the first day of classes went for their district. Superintendent Matt Moore says the Jessamine County school system is closely monitoring COVID-19 data. Despite the increasing number of positive cases in the county, Moore says the school district so far dodged the surge. We are now at 125 for our seven day rolling average uh, positivity rate uh, in Jessamine County, but uh, we are being very watchful, but uh, we haven't seen that in, uh, surge yet in the uh, classrooms. A test to stay program to help those deemed as close contact to test instead of quarantining is now available for staff and students at the Jessamine County Career and Technology Center. It's been very effective thus far. Uh, we've had uh, several students and staff that have used that uh, throughout the first semester and uh, actually used it uh, quite a bit over the break. Superintendent Moore says parents will be able to choose to keep their kids learning at home for virtual classes if they are worried about the growing positivity rate with the virus. The first semester we had about 115 students that participated in that program and for the second semester I anticipate we'll have about 150 that will be learning virtually. A mask policy is enforced in all the schools throughout the county, as Moore says, in effort to lower COVID numbers. To see uh, all, all of our students back in the classroom, and I could tell that they were uh, glad to be back in the seats, connected with their friends and uh, their teachers. And Jessamine County is going to do everything that we can to keep our students and staff safe. In Jessamine County, Georgia MacArthur, Fox 56 News. The CDC is shortening the recommended time for isolation from 10 days to five, along with a negative COVID-19 test.